The Bellroy Mansion is a 32-room estate located in the historic and affluent Chestnut Hill section of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the United States. It has obtained the title of most haunted home in America due to its alleged infestation of spirits, ghosts, gens, demons, angels, and supernatural beings. So this is one of Philadelphia's most haunted houses. Um, this house was built in 1911 by a carpenter who eventually murdered his wife in the main house, at least according to some of the stories. The family also um, were Civil War heroes, um, so there were generals that were living in this house as well. And the house does have 32 bedrooms. Imagine how big this house is. So the house itself is more than 100 years old. It was built in 1911. The property was purchased in 1926 by the Easby family. And then things got paranormal. George Meade Easby, the great-grandson of Union Army General George Meade, and his brother Stephen were playing in the front yard shortly after moving in when they wandered over to the fountain. Upon looking into the water, George saw his normal reflection, but saw his brother Stephen's transform into a skull. Shortly after, Stephen died, and they don't even know why. After his parents' deaths in, six, um, in the 60s, Easby and his visitors claimed to have experienced some form of paranormal activity, the most common of which came from George's brother, Stephen, that passed away. David and his friends were hired as landscapers at the time, and while working in the backyard, they saw a boy um, at the top of the stairs, which they believed to be Stephen. Um, after seeing this boy... The um, worker said he wasn't going to work there anymore. Like, he was terrified. Um, but they were very prominent. And they even linked to President Thomas Jefferson. Um, but apparently there's a chair that kills um, anyone that sits in it. Um, a few people to have passed were as an, an elderly lady um, and a few more people. Um, but currently, someone does live there. Um, during the day at Belroy, uh, Valenice who's um, the owner. He's really polite. He um, remodels the house currently. Um, but he owns a web design company. And he let his neighbor come in and actually um, get a tour of this house. He's very skeptical, doesn't really believe in like the spirit world. Um, so while he's giving this tour, um, he's saying that he doesn't feel anything, but the guy that's taking the tour does feel eerie about the house. Um, the owner does admit that there are old noises and he says there's unexplained sounds, but he just blames it on the house being a little bit old. Um, during this tour, there was a loud knocking that was heard several times. Um, and the owner joked saying, um, it's old house or maybe it's the ghost. Um, anyways, he is skeptical. It seems that young Steven still wanders the house, though he personally hasn't seen him. But his wife and friends do claim to see the little boy in the house. Um, while talking in the living room, two of their guests turn um, simultaneously towards the dining room. They claim that they had seen a kid playing in the dining room, but Vianalise and his wife's children were actually asleep at the time, so they know it wasn't theirs. Um, Stephen seems to be a pretty nice ghost, though, but there's nothing evil in the house, says the owner. According to Jay, the house is home, and there's nothing to be afraid of. Well, this estate in Chestnut Hill is supposedly haunted by many of its past owners, the most sinister of which is a woman named Amelia, who often tricks people into sitting into a death chair. According to the old owner, George, who is actually shown in this picture above, whoever sits in the chair dies shortly after. He claimed to have known two people, a housekeeper and a cousin. That passed away. Okay, everybody, do you see that house? That is the Bellroy Mansion. It's supposed to be the most haunted house in the United States. And it's the most haunted house in Philadelphia, of course. But we are here. So I will say that being at this house, um, I didn't really feel anything that felt any kind of way. Um, it wasn't a very, very prominent neighborhood. Um, the houses are huge. Um, there were people that were home at the time that we were there. You could tell um, by looking in the window. 
But I will say it was interesting walking around the outside of the home and kind of looking at everything. But that's all I have. Until next time, I will come back with another haunted video.